Hello students. I Professor Sundeep Nayak would like to welcome you to this session on cold preparations. Today we will learn about 1. Chaudfroid and Aspic. Its preparation and uses. 2. Types and making of pate and terrines. 3. Preparation of savory mousse and mousseline. 4. Making of galantine and ballotines. 5. Assembly and presentation of cold meats. Chaudfroid. Chaudfroid is the French word which literally means hot cold. The name refers to the fact that the sauce is cooked and it is applied hot on the food product. But then chilled and served cold. The high gelatin content of the sauce makes it possible to apply to a food item while still warm and flowing. As the sauce cools, it sticks to the product. Chaudfroid is a sauce that is applied to a product and is never served as an accompaniment or used to cook an item in, like other sauce. Uses of Chaudfroid 1. Chaudfroid sauce is used for coating a variety of items including galantines, terrines, cold timbales, whole or individual joint of poultry, meat, whole or fillet of fish and eggs. 2. It protects the item from air while seating on the buffet. 3. The sauce acts as a background or canvas on which the food item is decorated. 4. With different color chaudfroid itself is an adornment. 5. The sauce can complement to the flavor of the coated item. 6. It also adds to the nutritive value of the food. Method of Preparation of Chaudfroid 1. Classical Method White sauce or Vallaut sauce is used as a base. It is reduced with stock suitable for the item with which it will be used. Finally it is seasoned and finished with aspic jelly and cream. 2. Contemporary method. It is a modern variation of the sauce. It is prepared without roux as a base, resulting in a less starchy mouthfeel sauce. This method is also faster to prepare. Corn starch mixed with wine is added to reduced cream, seasoned and is finally finished with hot aspic jelly. Glaze. Glaze or chaudfroid sauce made by using mayonnaise, sour cream, heavy cream or combination of both as base. Often used for fish preparation. Glaze equals three parts of, mayonnaise plus sour cream plus heavy cream, plus one part of, strong aspic jelly. Other variations. Made with contemporary method by just replacing of cream. Brown chaudfroid sauce. Green chaudfroid sauce. Red chaudfroid sauce and yellow chaudfroid sauce. Applying for chaudfroid sauce. Preparing of item for coating. One item should be well chilled, two surface should be smooth, rough feeds should be trimmed. Three surface grease or skin should be removed. Four items should be blotted dry for better adhesive quality. 2. Tempering the chaudfroid. It involves bringing the temperature of the sauce either by heating or cooling, to a point that will allow the best easiest coating probably 85 degree F. Ehrenheit if it is too warm, the sauce will wash over leaving a thin coat or melt the previous coat. If it is too cold, won't form an even layer, it will lead to formation of lumps or air bubbles. It can never coat the item smoothly. 3. Coating by ladle method or dipping method. There are two ways to apply chaudfroid sauce. In the both cases, more than one coat is advisable to get an even appearance and smooth finish. Refrigeration in between both the coating has to be done for a better coating. 1. Ladle method. Sauce is poured by ladle onto the product. Example. Large joints or pieces of meat. 2. Dipping method. The item to be coated is dipped into the sauce. Example. Smaller items of meat or quail. 4. Trimming. Trimming is a final step in preparing the item for decoration. Carefully the item is removed from the pan by cutting away around the base of product with a palette knife. The product can now be called as chaudfroid. Decoration of chaudfroid Chaudfroid are decorated with a food item, vegetables, capers, chives, caviar, slice of olives which are dipped in warm aspic jelly and place on the surface of chaudfroid. Finally it's glazed with a tempered aspic jelly to make it sparking and fresh. Aspic and Jelly A jelly or jelly in English is a gelatinous meat or fish stock. 
A jelly becomes an aspic jelly when it is clarified. The word aspic is used to refer to a combination of meats, fish, vegetable, or eggs which are set in an aspic jelly mold. It is demolded onto a service platter when set and served. Characteristics of aspic jelly 1. It must always be crystal clear and of a light golden amber color. 2. The flavor of an aspic jelly should be intense enough to make mouth water. 3. The aspic jelly needs to be properly seasoned with salt. 4. Slight elevation and the level of acidity will serve to the accent or in live flavor. 5. Jelly should be firm enough to hold the desired shape, but must dissolve once it gets into the mouth. 6. Should have good slicing quality. Jelly Jelly is the stock that has been reduced and cooled down to a gelatinous consistency. Aspic jelly is a clarified form of jelly. Methods of preparation of aspic jelly 1. Classic method A stock is made using gelatinous items such as pork skin, calf's fastest knuckle joints, and shank bones. The stock is then reduced and clarified with aromatic vegetable wine and seasoning. 2. Quick method In quick method, commercial gelatin is added to a ready consomme. This method is practiced in all busy kitchens. The flavor and clarity depends on the quality of consomme. 3. Commercial powder method It is a good example of convenience food and is the quickest method of producing aspic jelly. Commercially, savory aspic jelly is available in powdered form. Jelly is prepared as per instructions of manufacturer. Pate Pate comes from word pate which mean paste, dough used for lining savory pies. In other words, it can also be a spread of finely chopped or pureed seasoned meat, often chicken liver, savory meat filling, wrapped in pastry, baked and served hot, cold. Components of a pâté 1. Pastry It is an essential component in pâté preparation. Base of the dough can be made from short crust, brioche or pie dough. 2. Stock It is made from leftover meat trimming with aromatic veggies spices and herbs used in force meats while mixing or used in preparation of aspic 3 force meat it is made of pork or pork and veal or poultry or fish or game or ham and sometimes vegetables meat may be minced or cut to match stick size small strips dice etc 4 aspic jelly it is a transparent savory jelly made from reduced stock it is used to fill gap between the force meats and the crust. Making of pâté Stages involved in pâté making The preparation of pâté is done in five stages. 1. PRE preparation Prepare the pâté dough with flour, fat and water. Prepare the force meat. Roll the dough about 1 8 inch thick to the size of the sheet pan. Using the assembled hinged mold, mark the dough for the main and the cap pieces. The bottom and the four walls of the mold should be covered with the dough. Allow for a one half inch overhang collar on all the sides. The capping piece should be the size of the bottom. Cut two chimney rings from an extra piece of dough using one inch and one half inch round cutter. 2. Assembling the pate, lightly oil the assembled mold. Fold the main piece of dough lengthwise. It should drop easily into the mold. It should cover all the four walls and the bottom of the mold. Using a small bag of bouquet garni carefully press the dough into the corners of the mold. Cover and refrigerate the lined mold for one hour. Fill the mold with well chilled force meat one half inch short of the top edge. The force meat should be placed in several layers using a pallet knife to press the force meat to reduce the formation of the air pockets. Fold the overhanging dough over the top of the force meat. Lightly egg wash the dough covering the top. Lightly eggs wash the face of the capping dough. Lay the capping face, egg wash side down in the top of pate. 3. Inserting the chimneys. Chimneys are placed in the pate to allow steam to escape. If chimneys are not present the steam can crack the crust. 4. Cooking of the pate. Cooking of the pate is divided into two stages browning stage, without egg washing the top of the pate. Cover the pâté with a foil. Place in a preheated oven at 475 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes.
Remove from the oven and allow rest for 15 minutes. Cooking stage. Uncover and light the eggs wash the top of the pate. Place in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit until the internal temperature is reached to 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Note, the temperature can be taken through the chimney. 5. Finishing of the pate. The pate is not complete when it is removed from the oven. It must be first filled with aspic. Allow the pate to rest at room temperature for 15 minutes. This will allow the juices and fat that have come out of the pate to be absorbed back. Carefully fill the chimneys with a good quality aspic jelly. Allow the pate to chill overnight before removal and slicing. Types of pate following are the types of pate, pate, it is also known as pate on its own or pate and pate, strictly speaking. Pate is only applied to a dish consisting of a pastry case or shell filled with force meat of meat, fish, vegetables or fruit, which is baked in oven and served hot or cold. The best English translation of this word is pie. Pate and terrine or pate champagne. Terrine takes the name from the vessel and not from the mixture used. Hence the pate mixture has no limitation. Usually the force meat used is uncooked and is an oblong earthenware mold. However nowadays Enamel, cast iron, clay, porcelain and chine vessels are also used. For preparation, the terrine mold is lined with strips of pork fat or bacon, the is filled with force meat halfway, ensuring no air pockets are formed, then the central garnish is placed and the is topped with remaining force meat. Finally top garnish is laid. Then the terrine is topped with additional layers of pork fat or streaky bacon and bunch of fresh herbs. The mold is placed on the top of water bath and cooked in a preheated oven at 325 degrees Fahrenheit until the terrine mixture internal temperature reached to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. The cooked terrine is pressed with a weight to make it firm. It is chilled overnight then sliced and served topped with a coat of aspic jelly. Pâté en croûte or pâté maison. Pâté en croûte are force meat baked in a crust. The force meat can be country style. Basic or mousseline but basic force meat is most commonly used. Although pâté en croûte can be baked without using a mold, a pâté mold helps to produce a more attractive finished product. Pâté pan, a variety of pâté en croûte, rectangular or oblong in shape, which is not cooked in a mold. The filling is placed in the center of pastry, the edges are folded over and sealed, then it is baked till done. It can be served hot or cold. Equipments or molds used for pate. Pate molds, one hinged oval pate mold or classical style mold. They are three fourths piece hinged mold with ornate decoration on sides. Two hinged rectangular mold, contemporary style mold. The rectangular shape allows higher product yield and easier portioning. Generally used for commercial quantity production. It is normally consists of three pieces of hinged mold made of black steel. Three tapered loaf pans is used for home style pate. The sides of the mold is tapered for easy removal. Pate scissor is used to cut the pate dough as per the size of the mold. Roller is used to roll the pate dough into thin sheets. Round cutter to cut the chimneys. Brush to give egg wash, fuel to pour aspic jelly through the chimney. Galantines. A traditional galantine is a deboned chicken wrapped in its own skin along with ground meat and other ingredients like garnishes, rolled into cylindrical shape and then poached in stock or roast and served cold, coated with aspic. The preparation of galantine is divided into three stages. PRE preparation. Bone chicken by cutting through skin along the length of backbone. Keep all meat attached to skin. Remove the wings and leg by cutting through the joint. Cut off the wings. Bone thigh and leg, trim skin to form large rectangle. Marinate the breast meat and skin for 3 hours with brandy, white wine, curing salt, salt and pepper. Prepare the stock from the bones. Prepare the force meat. 2. Assembling the galantine. Dust the skin lightly with a pinch of dry gelatin, salt and pepper. Spread the force meat on the skin, 1 inch thick leaving one inch margin of skin all around. Place the marinated breasts lengthwise, on the force meat with the thinner ends of the breast, overlapping in the middle. 
using the cheesecloth or cling wrap and roll the galantine away from you. Tie both end of the roll like a toffee. 3. Dot cooking the galantine. Place the galantine in a big brazier. Cover with a prepared stock and place on the range. Bring the temperature of the stock up to 190 degrees Fahrenheit. Poach the galantine till the internal temperature reaches up to 170 degrees Fahrenheit. Refrigerate overnight in the same stock. 4. Presentation Traditionally the galantines are sliced and served with small cubes or slices coated with delicate. Aspic Ballotines This is the smaller relative of galantines. Ballotines are ballot shaped bundle. It is leg of poultry that is boned, stuffed, and rolled into the shape of a bundle, then braised or roasted. It can be served hot or even cold. It is an excellent method for using the leg portion of poultry when the breasts have been used in the other preparations. The legs are deboned, leaving the meat and the skin intact. Force meat or any other mince is stuffed into the pocket and then the pocket is carefully sealed. The ballotine is normally roasted or braised. It can be glazed with aspic or coated with chodfroid sauce and can be served cold or hot. It can be served as an appetizer or as a main course. Dodine, similar to ballotine, usually prepared with the legs of duck or goose and is roasted instead of being poached. Always served hot. Composition or structure of savory mousse. Basically there are four components, base, binder, aeration, seasonings, flavorings and garnishes. 1. Base Ingredients the mousse's main or base ingredient may be one or a combination of finely ground or pureed cooked or smoked meats, fish, or poultry, cheese or a blend of cheeses or a puree of vegetables sautéing to intensify flavor and drive off excess moisture. It provides flavor, color, body and character in product. 2. Binder It provides structure to finished product accomplished by inclusion of gelatin or aspic jelly. Flavorful fat like butter contributes structure as it cool. Following ingredients or sauces are used as a binder. White sauce. The loud sauce. Mayonnaise sauce. And gelatin 3, aeration or lightener. Lighting of mousse is done by adding air into mixture. The lightener in a mousse can be foam of whipped egg whites, or heavy cream whipped to soft or medium peaks. If the whites or cream are overbeaten. The mousse may start to deflate from its own weight as it sits. 4. Seasonings, flavorings and garnishes. Seasonings, flavorings, and garnishes are chosen to suit the main ingredient's flavor. Usual proportion. 1 liter or kg of base. Is to. 1 ounce gelatin, dissolved in 1 cup of water, is to. 1 liter or kg aeration. 7 Steps in Preparing Mousse 1. Mold. Lubricate molds for setting the mousse. For example ramekin, small timbles. 2. Base. Fully cooked but not overcooked meat is pureed along with be chamel slash veloud slash mayonnaise slash sour cream, cream added to adjust the consistency. The puree should have smooth velvety texture. Cream should be added at last moment to avoid breaking. The pureed mixture is passed through fine sieve. 3. Binder. Proportionate amount of gelatin as per the base weight is soaked for sufficient time to absorb liquid, then place over boiling or simmering water till it melts. 4. Aeration. Either cream, egg white is beaten till soft peak. 5. Whisk. Whisk binder into the base. Both should be at room temperature. 6. Fold. Cut and fold aeration into base and binder mixture. If base is too thick or cold, aeration will get deflated before it works. 7. Mold. Mousse mixture should be put in the mold before it starts to set. Molded mousse should be allowed to chill overnight. Guidelines for preparing mousse. 1. Don't overcook meat as it may result in dry texture and poor mouthful. 2. Add cream at the last moment this avoids breaking of cream. 3. Proportion of base. Is to. Gelatin. Is to. Aeration is important. 4. Soak gelatin in ample amount of water to absorb liquid. 
5. While whisking gelatin to the base both should have same temperature. 6. Line the mold with aspic jelly or plastic film before pouring mixture. Characteristics of mousse 1. It should have velvety smooth texture. 2. It should have light and airy consistency, should not be heavy or rubbery and no air pockets. 3. It should bear a delicate but distinctive flavor. Mousseline Mousseline is a type of fluffy consistency similar to mousse is often made out of a combination of uncooked meat particularly chicken or fish, pureed and bound with egg white and sometimes cream, they are said by cooking. Mousseline most often starts with a base of paste, traditionally seafood paste from fish like salmon, trout, sole etc. or of shellfish like crab, shrimps, prawn, lobster etc. although other meats like ham, chicken, veal, pork, and feathered game may be used as well. It is prepared by processing ground meat and cream in food processor, often egg whites are added to lighten and enrich the mixture. Mousseline should be extremely smooth in texture and have the consistency of a very thick sauce or paste and then placed into molds to set by cooking. Mousseline force meat can be served hot, cold. The dish may be served individually, or a large mold may be made so that guests can cut servings for themselves. This is especially common in a buffet line, or at a casual event where appetizers are laid out for people to pick through. It can be used to make fish sausages and variety of timbals and terrines or can be used to make variety of canals. Small timbals of mousseline can also be used as an accompaniment of the main course or garnish. Mousseline is a good way to use up trimmings and leftovers while pre-preparing fish. The proportion of fish is to dot is to cream is important too many egg whites make it rubbery too few egg whites will not bind mixture together if too much cream added mousseline will be too soft or will fall apart during cooking procedure for making mousseline chill all ingredient and equipment around 40 c throughout the preparation cut fish or scallop or chicken or veal meat into proper size grind in food processor till smooth do not over process. Add egg and pulse. Add cream and seasoning in steady stream while machine running. Stop and scrape side down. If desired, pass through drum sieve. It removes sinew or bones. Over the ice. Fold in any garnishes to be added. Poach small amount in stock, water, taste, adjust seasoning and texture. Pipe the mixture in the molds cover with clean wrap or aluminium foil and poach till done. Refrigerate until ready for use. Equipment required preparing mousse and mousseline 1. Food processor, to work the main item into a puree or paste. 2. Whisk or electric mixer, with a wire whip to prepare the egg whites and or cream. 3. Drum sieve, to strain the base. 4. Pot, vessel, for ice water bath to cool the mixture. 5. Weighing machine, to weigh the ingredients used. 6. Various molds and serving dishes, to set the mousse. 7. Pastry bag, to shape the finished mousse. Difference between mousse and mousseline. 1. A mousse is a mixture of cooked ingredients, pureed and held together with gelatin. The loud sauce or aspic enriched with cream. While mousseline is a combination of uncooked meat, pureed and bound with egg white sometimes with cream. Two mousse is generally set by freezing. While mousseline is set by cooking that is steaming. Three mousse is usually served cold. Dot while mousseline can be served hot, cold. Four savory mousse can be served as horse d'oeuvre or entree. While mousseline can be served as an accompaniment of main course or to decorate the cold meat platter set on buffet presentation. Five mousse are set in mousse mold usually bigger in size. While mousseline are set in smaller timbals or ramekin. Six they are found in three types. That is savory, iced, sweet. While mousseline is found in only one type. That is savory. Seven example of mousse are shrimp mousse, chicken mousse and asparagus mousse. While example of mousseline are salmon mousseline of kingfish mousseline. Cold meat platter. 
The cold meat platter is the main attraction of the buffet and offers an opportunity for the chef to showcase his visual artistry and food presentation which requires great accuracy, patience and good artistic sense. Cold platters range from a simple tray of cold cuts to an elaborate construction of pates, meats, poultry or fish decorate with aspic truffles and vegetable flour. Basic Principles of Cold Meat Platter Presentation There are three elements of buffet platter. One centerpiece, this may be an uncut portion of the main of food item like cold roast decorated and displayed or salmon mousse on poached salmon platter or even a butter or wax sculpture. Two the slice or serving portion of main food item or arranged. Three the garnish arranged artistically in portion to cut slice. The food should be made easy to handle and served so that one portion can be removed without disturbing the arrangement. A simple design is best simple arrangement easier to serve, are more appetizing than overworked food, and also remain attractive when they are half demolished by guest. Do not overhandle the food once placed on the tray, the platter must not only look attractive for itself but also as a part of the buffet. Thank you and wish you all the best.